Rabbi, 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 what is the question of the day? Do I have a question here? Oi, I, I don't like the sound yet. of that. I don't even know what the question is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you do when a girl doesn't want you, but you know she loves you? Oh, those are really hard situations. Uh, that like it got my heart a little bit. I'm like, oh, so uh, love doesn't know right. I don't. I don't know how to say that differently, but I'll explain love what I mean. Love doesn't know right. I love that. Love doesn't know right or wrong. Love just knows love. So it could be that I love you, and it could be that you love me, and it could be that we're not right for each other and we can't live together. But it doesn't mean that we don't love each other. Right. And it doesn't mean that everybody that I do love is my right person to marry because I have a lot of love in my heart and I love a lot of people. But it doesn't mean that I should marry each and every one of those people. So love doesn't know right. Can we Mar is marry for love is a new idea? Yeah, that's not the old way. What do we marry for? Money. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, well, there was in society, you know, in the old I, way was marrying for money, status, right. uh, uh, procreation. There's so many other reasons, but the idea of marrying for love is a, is a new concept. It's it's not even a hundred years old. Really? Yeah. Can we quote you on that? Sure. <laughs> you you heard it here first, folks. No, but it's it's known. It's known. I, I can yeah. find you. I'm. I, I don't have an peer reviewed you, studies. It's not peer reviewed studies, but I can find <laughs> you the, the, the. You know, just look it up. You'll see. It, the see idea it. of of <laughs> <laughs> the idea of 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 love and marriage together. Is, is, is a newfound idea. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There, oh, well, this isn't, you know, that old. But, you know, there was that, oh, you you're, you didn't watch TV like that. But, like, love and marriage go together like a horse and carriage is the whole thing. And there was a whole show on that. And, it, and, it, and it's the song and it's the show that, like, promotes love and marriage. Those two things go hand in hand. Maybe like, that's how it started. <sighs> I think there should be other reasons besides love to get married. And that's what you're saying is correct. And that's a differentiator is that there will be other reasons. You love mm -hmm. a lot of people, but there's other reasons why you get married, not just because of love. Okay. We got to talk about it because a listener asked. So uh, why might this person say like, I love you, but I don't want to marry you. Like, what are those other reasons? Because Values. I, can't live with you. I can't stand certain habits of yours. Mm -hmm. I can't. Uh, I, mean, I love you, but I can't live with you. I love you, yeah. but I can't live with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's people who say that even after they're married and they get divorced, right? Mm -hmm. I love you, but I can't live with you. Yeah. Right? There's some, some couples are much better not living together. Yep. And there's some people, some couples who even stay married not living together, which I don't say that's a, it's the best idea, but it could be the recipe for a happy marriage for some people. Yep. Yep. So there needs to be some other reason. To, yeah. to get married besides for love, because not always, not for everyone, will love be enough to sustain the relationship. Right, right. Love isn't enough. Love isn't enough. Didn't we say that before? Or I, saw, I might have said that to a client recently. I was like, love just isn't enough. It's not enough of a reason to move ahead. I love you. Let's get married. Are your values aligned? You know, are your fears being triggered? Do they have an ick factor that you're really not tolerating and you can't stand? You know, is there alignment with life goals where you want to live? What kind of family you want to raise? What kind of a community you want to be in involved with? Like, are all these other things? Oh, but I love them. <laughs> you just <laughs> added so many other I so components many elements. that I would say so I would challenge that are even more important than love. Right, right, right. So if love and marriage go together like a horse and carriage, you might as well separate the horse and carriage. Mm. And then you figure out all the other components, like how to put the horse and carriage together and whatever harness you need and whatever other elements you need to get <laughs> it. And then you can see the horse and carriage going together. Right. So I don't know, but it's sounding to me like love isn't the answer. It's not like, oh, when I'm in love, then I'm going to get married because then it's all going to work out. True? True. True. Love is not, is not the only thing. There could be 
It could be one of the things. I even would like to say that I hope it's not number one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but let it be number that two. Came, that just came out. <laughs> okay. Love shouldn't yeah. even be number one. Quoted here by Rabbi Bernath. The love rabbi. Okay. Wait a minute. You're even the love rabbi. I know, but you you know I hate that moniker. I know. That's why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a little j- No, I, I mean, I think it's a great title. Um, but love. So I had this client and uh, she came to me and she was in a very toxic relationship. And she said, but I love him. And I said, but love isn't enough. Love isn't enough. It's not... It, it, it's not enough. It's not going to sustain you through a long-term, happy, healthy marriage. Love simply isn't enough. And then she and she's like, "Are you are you sure?" And I was like, "Yeah, actually." And I literally proved it to her through this whole soulmate clarity system that you may love somebody, and they still may not be your person. Which I think is at the root of this this listener's question, like but I, I love them or they love me, but I, I, how could it be that that doesn't work? Right. It's actually true. And I would say for, for this client, I don't know who the client is, but when I've seen this, it's been someone who has been in a relationship before and they keep on getting into these kind of relationships that are either enmeshed or they are uh, dependent upon something that's external. So it's not even love. They they misconstrue it as love. They think they're in love, but really they're in lust or they're in infatuation. And I'm going to add, some people are in love. Like this client had spent time together, giving to each other, growing the relationship, working on it. And it had gone well for a period of time. And then things started to actually go south. And to the point that it not only wasn't repairable, but it was not a healthy relationship. So I do think that there is, there still is love that exists between people that might not be lust. It might actually be love, but love is not a positive result for marriage. It's not like love, check, now we can get married. It's like love, check, okay, should we get married? I don't know. <laughs> You got other things in common besides love? Right. Like, what else is aligned? Where's your compatibility? I mean, just remember, if you can love your grandma and you can love ice cream, what is love? <laughs> okay. So we're going to wrap and give this listener a blessing. May you learn more about love. May you understand it deeply. And may you have so many other qualities and things along with love in your marriage, which please God, may it be soon. Amen, amen.